Okay, welcome back. In this tutorial part two, I'll show you uh, how to stack up the, uh, the smoke trails, not along the y-axis, but um, line them up along the z-axis. So make sure you've watched part one, okay? Because I'm going to be using the same mail script right here, but I'm going to change the settings. I'm going to change some of the settings so that it would stack up uh, down at the uh, z-axis, okay? So here is the previous command. So I'm not going to change these two. I'll keep it. But what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to change it this time. The command which is down here. Look at the smoke trail. Okay. Think of it as like this is one, two, three, four, five, six, or one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And look at the the, the way they range. One, two, three, four, five, six. They are arranged along the y axis. Any time when you want them to to uh, let's say line up a certain axis, you put the the index, the word index, okay? So, for example, right here, you see how it's lined up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, going up the y-axis? So that's why I use this number, okay? So then let's say this time I wanted to, let me select these two. Actually, I'm going to select this one, move down here. I'm going to select this one, and I'm going to rotate these two. Okay, one rotate. So I'm going to click this one. Okay, now let's say this time I want them to line up like this way along the Z axis. Okay, so what I need to do is change tower to go along the Z axis instead of 15 because I want to them to line up along the Z axis. I use the word index. Okay, dollar sign Z index like that. And then also another thing is the question is where do I want to start? Do I want to start in the middle of the y axis or all the way up the top or at the bottom of the y axis? Anytime when you want to tell where, let's say in the middle of it, you have to change this one. They're no longer called y axis, I mean y index, you, you give it a number. Okay, so I know that the, my maximum range is 30, so I'm going to change to 15 like that. And I'm, I'm going to do is Hit edit, and so now let me rewind. See like that. So because this time, this I don't change because I want the density to start all the way over here. Okay. Let's say I want the density to start halfway. Okay. Then what I do is remember the word index is where you want to start. Okay. Let's say I want to start. I know that the, my range is if I set the fluid, my range is about ninety. Right, so if I change this to 45, 45, and hit edit, don't forget to hit edit, rewind, then you know it's going to start right there. Okay, so let's say I start at 15, edit, and let me rewind, you know it's going to start right there. So, like that. Okay. So that's why I'm going to change this to zero. Okay, sometimes it acts really weird. Okay, what I did was um, every t every time when you change a number earlier, I had problem. It wouldn't play back right. Okay, that's because I forgot to hit the edit. Every time, make sure you change the number. Make sure you hit edit. So that it looks right, and then rewind and play. And also, I noticed that my speed was at 50, so I had to reduce it down to let's say 20. Because if your speed is too high, then something can mess up. You know? So, okay, let me review what I said earlier. Okay, now, if you, whenever you want the smoke trail al line along a certain axis, you, you tell it to do. In this case, I want to line up along the z-axis. So therefore, the z-axis right here, the z-index, I have to call it index. Okay. Next is I ask myself, well, I only line them up along the z-axis, but where along the y-axis do I want to start? If you want it to be in the middle, you have to give it a number. Okay. So let's say if I put this to 5, I hit edit, so then rewind, or I can hit play, then I know it's going to be down there. Like that. That's different. 
Okay. Again, let's say if I switch around, let's say I want to be lining them up along the Y axis, then now I have to change the Y to dollar sign Y index. And then once I know that they're lined up along the Y axis, but the question is where along the Z do I want to be in the middle or what? And then that's when I change the Z to a certain number. Let's say 5. Okay. And hit edit. And then now I play. Now it's going to be over there. Like that. If I want to be middle, I put 15. Why? Because it's based on my resolution. Okay. 15 will be, let's say, one fifth of it. So, and that's how you would do it. Okay. So in the next tutorial, I'll show you how to do a vertical, um, vertical smoke tra uh, tracer like that. And again, these you can. Um, change the settings right here let me play again I can even favor more of the slow speed by dragging the input bias or favor more of the high speed yeah so okay so that this concludes the second part in the next part I'll show you again using the same mail script and change some of the settings a little bit so that you can see what uh, what, what it can be done okay thank you for watching